Welcome back to Positively Milwaukee. The wife of the late Eric Vaughn is using his memory to shape our future. And the community is helping Faith Colas pay it forward through a shared investment in quality journalism. <laughs> I'm excited to just like go and, and see what happens. The fresh faces of young journalists eager to tell stories and hone their craft. I've always wanted to be on a team that covers a story like this. These young ladies got an opportunity of a lifetime when they were awarded the WUWM Eric Vaughn Broadcast Fellowship. 7.35 on a Monday morning, it's the Eric Vaughn Show. I'm Eric Vaughn. The gift is in honor of the late journalist Eric Vaughn. The beloved and well-respected Milwaukee man died in 2016 after more than 25 years in radio. He interviewed local leaders from all walks of life on issues important to Milwaukee. His widow, Faith Colas, tells me what she misses most about her late husband. I miss every single thing about him, including... including hearing his voice. Colas is proud that with the help of UWM, the Eric Von Fellowship is shaping the next generation of journalists. It has to be bittersweet and feel good to know that this is what has come out of it, out of your husband's legacy. It is bittersweet, you know, um, living life without Eric, living for this city to not have Eric Von in it. But the sweetness is that his legacy lives on in all of the fellows that will become part of the WUWM Eric Vaughn Broadcast Fellowship. And the fellows are excited about their opportunity. This year's winner, Simone Cazares. I like honestly couldn't say anything. I was so shocked when they called. Um, this had been like my dream since I was like 15 years old. Like to be like a fellow at a at a major public radio station like WWM and to hear that I had like gotten the opportunity to you know pursue my dreams and to go to a new city and to do something new and to like finally get the chance to like be the reporter that I always wanted to be I was just like so shocked you know that they had chosen me out of like everyone else. So. 27 year old Taryn Powell is a Marquette graduate. She was awarded the first ever Eric Vaughn Fellowship four years ago. That led to a full time job at WUWM where she's the race and ethnicity reporter. Powell says being a Vaughn Fellow has opened doors. Yep, yep. I had a uh, alderman tell me like I'll talk to you when I want to do the interview. So yeah, it was definitely a plug and I appreciated that. Eric Vaughn Fellows get more than a career launch. This is a seventy thousand dollar a year fellowship. And when the fellows come in, they are paid a full time salary. It's uh, benefits that they get, vacation time off, and they get experience. Eric Vaughn worked at a number of radio stations, including WNOV AM. His last job was at WUWM 89.7 FM. His work did make a difference in the seeds of people listening, right? People made decisions differently. They listened differently. They thought about this community differently, whether by themselves or with their family or in their workplace. He did make a difference. And this fellowship is um, proof of that. Supporters of the fellowship appreciate Vaughn's passion for improving Milwaukee. The Eric Vaughn Fellowship is fully funded by gifts. So people that know about um, the work that Eric has done, who appreciate his legacy, who appreciate the work that he he did in this community who love the idea of um, building the next generation of broadcast journalists, they donate. And the young fellows feel a responsibility to live up to Vaughn's commitment to the greater good. For me to be able to continue the work that he did, it's a huge honor and I don't take that responsibility lightly. You know, I want to continue to tell the stories of people who look like me, people who don't see themselves represented on the air, and um, to be able to do that through the Eric Vaughn Fellowship and continue on his legacy just means the world to me. I always used to say I want to be a reporter to give a voice to the voiceless. And there's nothing wrong with saying that, but these are people who have voices and they just need a platform to be able to talk about what's happening to them and around them. And so that's what I really appreciate about the um, race and ethnicity reporting. It's teaching me so much and I'm able to educate the community as well. So I like it.
I mean, their voices are heard on NPR. Their work is heard on NPR. Their work is heard through the airwaves here um, at WUWM. And so whether they decide to stay here or not, wherever they go with their career, they got their start here in Milwaukee at WUWM through the Eric Von Broadcast Fellowship. What could be better? So as these young ladies embark upon the career of their dreams, they're inspired by a man they never met whose presence lives on. I'm just so thankful to have the support of, you know, all of my mentors here at WWM. Like, it's just the most amazing thing to me. Even to this day, knowing how many people still think about Eric and keep his name alive along with this fellowship is just, it's really amazing. His work did make a difference in the seeds of people listening, right? People made decisions differently. They listened differently. They thought about this community differently, whether by themselves or with their family or in their workplace. He did make a difference, and this fellowship is um, proof of that. And this is a blessing for the Milwaukee community. If you'd like more information on applying or supporting the Eric Von Broadcast Fellowship, we do have a link on our website on our Positively Milwaukee Facebook group page.